Why can I not find what I love? I'm assuming this person means what they love to do. Um, okay, let's see how much we can get from this. Uh, I would like to remind everybody, as always, these answers are one more way. They are not the only way, nor do we have all the answers in one little video. But whatever comes to mind, we will say. Now, why can I not find what I love? I would say, don't try and define it too much. So many times we can't find what we love to do because we try and put it in a little box and say, no, I want to know exactly what it is I like to do or I love to do. Leave it a little more loose. Another thing is, so many times we don't find what we love to do because we think too much of the future. Like, yes, I do like this today, but am I going to like it in 10 years? Do I want to make a career of this? And that thought makes it difficult for us to attract the things we love to do. So one way to make it easier to attract or to find what we love to do is to think only of today, not the future. And start doing the little things we like to do so that the energy will attract the bigger things much easier. See, if we spend all our day not doing the little things we like, it's going to be very difficult for us to attract the career we love or the, the, art, the art we want to work on, the job we love, the house we love, everything. So we have to start from the little things so that the big things can find a similar energy to hold on to and to stay around us. So there won't simply be fleeting moments of one or two days. Let's see how else do we block finding what we love. Of course, other people. We care what other people will say. Like, and how are you going to make money from that? Or, there's no future in being a ballerina. Or, very, very few people make money out of sports. Or, you have to sell your soul to the devil to become a successful rock star. Or, let's see what else. I can't think of anything else, but stop listening to other people. And then it would be much easier for us to find or to attract what it is we love. But I notice a lot of people that ask this question during a session, their higher self will show it to me before they even start the session. And I will tell them and I will say something like, well, yes, but what exactly? Like, they're being really stupid. They want me to, or they want their soul to show them the exact address they have to go to to find this dream job can't understand how to go into the energy of this so that they can attract so that they could attract the rest of it they want to know exactly and what time and what day they want to put it in a box that's why I say try not to define it too much because when you try to define it and put it in a box you disconnect from the universe the universe doesn't work like that. I'm going to bring something up that might have nothing to do with the question. Years ago, when I first started this, <coughs> excuse me, um, my high self shows me an image of a glass of milk on a table. And then I see a hand taking the glass of milk. Oh, excuse me. My high self says, you are the milk in this glass. And then, my, then I see a hand taking the glass and pouring the milk on the table. 
And then my higher self says, this is what I want you to become. You are still the same milk, but you're simply not in a perfectly round glass. You are spread all over the place and you take up more space, more room. And then I understood to let go of defining things, defining myself and crossing the boxes that I am this, I am that, I am the other. And then I let go and slowly I started spreading out and being all over the place like spilt milk. So yes, if you can do this as well, it'll be easier for you to attract or to find what it is you love. Another reason you want to know exactly what it is you love is so you can tell other people. <coughs> Sorry again, my throat. Because other people need to know exactly who you are, what you are, what you like, so they can tick the box. Because we are threatened when we don't know exactly who the other person is. So you're going to have to let go of the need to please the other people and their insecurities and focus only on you. Now, as the statement says on this picture, if you want to fulfill your dreams, you have to wake up first. I think the person that wrote this meant you need to wake up from the fact uh, how do I put this okay I'm gonna do say it differently we are all alone in this world every single individual simply because we have come here only for ourselves you need to wake up to this fact that you are all alone. No one else around you matters. They are simply co-stars in the same play, the same movie. But you are the main star of your movie. If you can wake up to this fact and understand that and say to yourself, you know what? I have come to worth just for me. Then you can easily find what you love. But you have to understand it. Humanity's biggest problem is the fear of being alone. And they don't do anything in their life because they don't want to be alone. If you can come out of this, I swear to you, you will become a god. But you need to come out of it. You need to wake up from this dream that we are all in this together. No, we are not in this together at all. It's everyone for themselves. And then it will be much easier for you to find what you love and do what you love. This does not mean you cannot have friends or relationships or families. You can do whatever you like. But you need to understand that you have come to earth for you and only you and no one else but you. I'm going to mention something else. A lot of people are so afraid of being alone, they keep using phrases like, I want to help people. They don't want to help people at all. But this is one way of securing um, I don't know if this is going to make sense. One way of securing not being alone. I think I'm using the wrong word. One way to make sure that they are not going to be alone. 
because they helped others so others will always be around them so if you catch yourself saying oh I want to help people ask yourself why am I so afraid to be alone this is why so many times people we have helped that might ignore us later we always say I helped him or her and now he's ignoring me yes you helped him so that he or she will not ignore you that's the only reason you helped so see this in you and simply ask yourself why do I have this need and then you will wake up from this lethargy from this nightmare that we have been told we should be in of helping one another and you will go into the real you now of helping one another let's not go to the extreme here because there is such a thing called common sense I remember when I was staying in Berlin one of my friends came to visit me from another country and then I was taking her back to the airport um, the last station before you get up to go to get the bus for the airport in Berlin the last station doesn't have escalators for part of the going up from the underground going up to the pavement and as we were walking right in front of me was an older lady small little lady with a big suitcase with wheels and then when she got to the steps it's only about half a floor it's not even a full floor when she got to the steps she looked up I was right behind her so I simply said would you like me to carry it for you she nodded her head I didn't speak German she didn't speak English she nodded her head and I carried it up and I just left it up the top she got there like five seconds later and my friend looks at me and she says so you do have love in you I'm thinking what the hell are you talking about this has nothing to do with love this is common sense so let's not confuse common sense with not caring when I say stop caring about people what I mean is stop trying to go out there and find people who need you and tell them look I can help you stop that carrying an old lady's suitcase up half a flight of stairs has nothing to do with caring it simply has to do with common sense say it like it is but we use the words caring like look how good I am aren't I a nice person no honey you're an idiot who needs attention you have special needs that's what you are has nothing to do with being nice okay so let's not go overboard I'm gonna repeat this again what I'm saying by don't care is don't look for people who need things because they really don't need things you're the one that needs to be needed that's all okay why can I not find what I love? Let's see if there's anything else blocking us from finding what we love. I don't think I have any more, so I'm going to leave it at this.